Hey guys, it's your girl Vijaya, and guess what? I am just loving the weather in Toronto right now. It is finally warmer, the grass looks a lot greener, the birds are chirping outside, the boys are on their motorcycles, vroom vroom. And today I'm coming to you with one of my favorite spring summer salads. I am making a roasted zucchini salad with asparagus, mint, lemon, and feta. And this one's dedicated to one of my Instagram followers. Her name is Natasha and she goes by the Instagram handle Shimmer Sinclair. So shout out to Shimmer Sinclair, AKA Natasha. This one's for you. Um, so we're gonna start off with the zucchini. I have about four zucchini, which I have cut into rounds on the sheet pan. Now the thing with zucchini is sometimes they're big, sometimes they're small. So you're probably like, Vijaya, which size do I choose? It doesn't matter. Just get the zucchini and as long as it fills a sheet pan, then you're good. So we're just gonna season it with a little bit of olive oil. You wanna be liberal with this because it's going in the oven. You want it to get nice color. Just a little bit of olive oil, some salt, some pepper. I'm just gonna give it a nice toss. Don't be afraid to get your hands in there. The key is you want every single bit to be covered with that oil and seasoned well. Okay, and then when you're done, you're gonna lay it out flat so that every piece of zucchini is touching the bottom of the sheet pan and that's gonna help ensure that it gets cooked evenly and gets color. And that's looking pretty good. And I'm just gonna throw it into the oven. I'm throwing it into a 500 degree oven for about seven minutes. So three minutes on one side, then you're gonna check it, flip it over. It has to have a little bit of color on the outside. That's when you know it's good. And if you have the broil setting on your oven, even better, because you're gonna get color a lot faster and it'll maintain the um, crispness of the zucchini without overcooking. So into the oven it goes. <laughs> Hot oven, did not anticipate that, but you know, it's 500 degrees, so I guess I should have. And now let's talk about our dressing. Okay, the dressing is super simple. So as I told you, there is going to be lemon in this dressing um, and that's going to give the acid okay so we're going to go in with about a whole lemon let's do a whole lemon people and the general rule of thumb when it comes to dressing is one part acid to three parts oil so the oil in this case is going to be our olive oil and you can see that the lemon juice has come up to that part of the jar. So I'm just gonna add enough olive oil so that it is three times the amount of lemon juice. So bear with me, <laughs> this is gonna take some time. If I knew how to take, how to take off that little thingy off the top, it would take a lot less time. But you know, you make do with what you have in the kitchen, right? Okay, so that's about three parts, right? Maybe a little more. I tend to like my dressings a little more acidic. So we're gonna add a nice pinch of salt in there. And I'm using mint in two different ways today. One is fresh mint and this is dried mint. Now dried mint is used a lot in Middle Eastern and Lebanese cooking and it has this beautiful perfume to it. It's almost tea-like. I just like to use the two because they offer two completely different flavor profiles and it adds such great dimension to the dish. So I'm gonna do a general, generous crush of this dry mint. You can find this in Middle Eastern stores. If you can't find it, you can dry your own mint. Actually, this is mint that I've dried myself. All I did was I took fresh mint leaves and I left them in a warm, dry place. And within a couple of days, they dry out and become nice and um, nice and dry so that you can crush them with your fingers, okay? So I'm just gonna put the lid on and I like making dressings in a jar because it makes life easy, no whisks needed. It's just a little arm power. And there you go, beautiful dressing. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a taste. I wish I had a spoon. Give me one second, just hang in there for like one second. Okay. <laughs> mm. Perfectly balanced. It's delicious. Okay, and now let's talk about our asparagus. Our asparagus, all I did was I took 
a bunch of asparagus, removed the tough woody ends. You, you would have seen me do this in my gluten-free pasta puttanesca video. And I threw it into some boiling water for about 30 seconds, no longer, and then threw it immediately into ice water, okay? So you're just gonna pull this out of the ice water and let it drain. And it's beautiful and crisp, but still tender, and it's maintained its green color, which is what we're looking for. Ooh. All right, so we're gonna let that drain, and now we're just gonna hang out, let the zucchini do its thing. It's gonna be done in a couple of minutes, and when it comes out, it's gonna be nice and has have a lot of great color on it and it'll be perfect and ready to go for the salad so I'll see you in a second so it's been about seven minutes the zucchini is doing its thing and now it's time for me to take it out because I think it's ready okay let's do it uh, see that that's exactly what we're looking for that nice brown color okay and now it's just a matter of assembling so I have a platter in front of me we're just gonna take, you know what? I'm just gonna do this with my fingers. Ooh, ha, hee. Oh no, maybe not with my fingers, maybe with tongs, because it is really hot. Um, but you wanna scoop out this zucchini, just start arranging it on the platter. You know, if you had a little more time, let them cool down a little bit, because you don't want to burn your little cute fingers off. Okay, and then I'm just gonna layer with our beautiful green asparagus. A little more zucchini. And this is great if you're trying to detox. Like, the thing that I hate about salads sometimes is that they're just a bunch of limp lettuce leaves. No, this is incredibly substantial. You'll feel great eating it. You won't feel like you're being deprived. And it's good for you. We always love stuff that's good for us, right? Especially this time of year when you're trying to get ready for a bikini season. Girls, you know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Okay. Last little bits of zucchini. A little more asparagus. And I'm gonna take our beautiful dressing, give it another shake, just to emulsify everything again. And we're just gonna drizzle it all over the top. Beautiful mint, lemon, and olive oil dressing. And the great thing is, is because the zucchini is still warm, it's gonna absorb the dressing and it's gonna get really super delicious. And if you keep the salad overnight in the fridge, or for two days, it gets even more yummy because it has a chance to absorb all the flavors. Now, I told you I'd be using fresh mint, so here it is. I'm just gonna pull some off the stem. And instead of chopping up the mint, what I like to do is I like to tear it. It's just a lot more delicate, and it doesn't bruise the mint, if you, like if you were to chop it. One more thing, the zest of one lemon. So you just wanna rotate your lemon around and get the zest on because that adds some great fragrance and freshness to the entire dish. And last but not least, a little bit of feta. Who doesn't like feta? Find your favorite feta, whatever. You know, I grab this from the grocery store. You can get Macedonian feta, Greek feta, whatever. It's just super yummy and it's the piece de resistance on this dish. A nice little crumble. Doesn't that look spectacular, people? And just like how I forgot my spoon today, I forgot my fork. So why don't you just keep taking a look at the salad, look down, look at the salad, look at the salad, be right back. Okay. And as always, here it is, my roasted zucchini salad with asparagus, mint, lemon, and feta. And as always, I have to try it, right? Because you guys like to see me eat this stuff on camera. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of zucchini. 
little bit of my asparagus, little thing of mint. Mint is almost like a salad leaf in this. Okay, ready, ready? Close up, close up, can you see it? Close up. Okay, ready? I'm a happy camper and you will be too when you try the salad. <laughs> it's super easy. You saw me make it. It happens in no time at all. It's delicious, it's good for you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment below. And like Shimmer Sinclair, if you have any requests for me for things to make, let me know. Cause I'm super excited when I hear from you and I totally want to uh, figure things out for you and help you out in the kitchen. So it's Vijaya signing off again. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.